got it, I got it, I'm good. Baseball now from the district as we welcome you inside beautiful Nationals Park in Washington. Tonight it's an NL Eastern Division showdown between the Phillies and the Washington Nationals. We've got baseball on the show and it's coming up next. Joe Ross will be on the mound for the series opener. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Joe Ross. A lot of people know Joe Ross because of his brother, Tyson Ross, who also is a pitcher. Joe Ross, quality mix. 95 to 96 miles an hour. Good hard slider in a straight changeup. If he brings the goods, it could be a long night for the opposing team. Now at the plate, here is Willie Castro. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Soto ranges deep into the corner to make the catch for the first down. Next to hit is Joaquin Dias. First pitch on its way. So guys these Nationals as they interplay here tonight they've got to be considered one of if not the hottest team in baseball right now winners of eight of their last ten ball games. Yeah Maddie, this is a nice one. First game of a homestand you played well on the road you got a chance to grab a shower and sleep in your own bed last night. I bet you this team comes out on the attack today. Faces are empty one man out. That misses one and two. Good night for baseball. 69 degrees here at first pitch. Ready on one and two. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. So here's Francisco Lindor now. He'll be hoping to move up that NL home run leaderboard a bit, entering play number nine in that category. You know, D, we're worried into the summer right now. This guy's power has been off the charts. Looks like he's going to be able to do this all season long. I think he is, Dan, and the ball's going to start flying now. Weather's starting to warm up in certain parts of the country. We're getting into the middle, late part of summer. You're going to see some epic home runs down the stretch. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. The 1 1 home. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Corner and slicing foul. We're just getting started here in our nation's capital. Fastball well outside. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. 
lifted the other way to left center. Left fielder giving chase. He's there to track it down and that'll end the inning. Aaron Nola gets the call for game one of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Wow, talk about a number that jumps out at you. This guy's whip, which is walks to hits to innings pitch, is less than one coming into this start. That's not an easy thing to do. That tells me one thing. Not only is his stuff good, but he wipes people out quick. This is a real good pitcher. Stepping up is Julian Chavez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. Fellas are visiting team as they take the field after a scoreless top half. They have not been playing their best baseball of late as they've dropped four of their last five. All right, Matty, they show up for game one of this road trip. They have to find a way to play a little bit better baseball. Coming off a recent homestand where they were only able to squeak out three wins, but at the end of the day, the way this team's been playing, three wins is a significant positive. So let's see how game one of this road trip treats them. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Having a little trouble finding the zone to start the night. It's always deflating to walk the leadoff guy in the game, so we'll see if he can initiate some contact here. The three one. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. And there's one gone to start the night. Riding in now for the Nats, Luis Garcia. First delivery to him. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. And he'll squeeze this one for the second out. Juan Soto to the plate now. He comes in today leading the National League in hitting this year. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. Out in front of it, strike one. The windup and the 0-1. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Second inning upcoming from our nation's capital with no score. Second inning set to go, and next will be the imposing power bat, Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins. Now the first pitch. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's 1 and 1. Time for a look at the umpires working this one. Behind the plate is Daryl Parker. Hey, not a very big strike zone, but a strike zone that kind of moves around a little bit too much for my liking. Yeah, Dan, I know there's not a clear scouting report with Daryl. I'll tell you what, you're going to know in the first two innings where he's going to be. Count is 1 and 2 now. Into the windup and the pitch down the left field line and deep and foul now another one two lays off two and two now just stand alive putting together a really good at bat here another two two offering. A 
Oh, and it's not often you see a guy like that flail so badly up there, but that was a great pitch for route number one. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher continuing to make a guy chase out of the zone. When you recognize a hitter is in protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. You can just expand further and further until he literally can't touch it. To the plate now, Emo Jimenez. As he'll take a look at ball one. Comes into his first at bat at 283. Six home runs and 17 RBIs. One oh pitches his slider swung on and missed one and one. The pitch. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Full count now. Three and two. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. To short. And that gets through for a one out base hit. That's the game plan right there. Elevate the sinker from the offensive standpoint. That's what they talked about in the hitters meeting. And on the flip side, if the pitcher doesn't get that pitch down, there's going to be a call to the pen shortly. That brings up Alec Bohm. As he'll go after a hard sinker that time and falls behind nothing and one. Comes into play here at 273. Three homers and 17 RBIs. The 0 1 pitch. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0 and 2. And he missed with it. It's 1 and 2. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. The run comes across to score and they jump oh, ahead 1 0. That's just some great base running from the guy at first. The ball had plenty of air under it, but he got a good read, recognizing it wasn't going to be caught, and he hustled all the way around home. That's something that shouldn't go unrecognized in that play. Stepping in now, Gene Story, as he'll swing and lift a fly ball to right center. Garcia is there, and he has it for the out. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. So now here is JT Real Muto, runner in scoring position with two gone. First pitch on its way. Hey, this pitcher's going to have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath, something. Can't keep falling behind and creating traffic. It puts everybody on edge, not only himself, his defense, and especially his manager. The set and the 2 0. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Now a late swing and a miss as he was well behind three and one. It'll be interesting if he comes in the zone aggressively again here with the base open. He doesn't have to. Ready with the three one and that misses ball four so it's first and second now with two out. That walk is going to feel a little extra frustrating for this pitcher. Not only do you never really want to walk the number eight hitter but it's also going to let the pitcher hit this inning instead of forcing him to lead off the next one.
first delivery to him. Aaron Nola is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Hey, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but he's going to grind it out right here. He's got a chance to help himself, and nothing's a bigger backbreaker to a team than watching the pitcher drive in a run. Swing and a miss as he chases one out of the zone for the third strike, and that's the third out of the inning. So that'll bring up Josh Bell, one of the better hitters in the game this year, currently seventh in the National League batting race. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Down and in here. One ball, no strikes. Now it's 2 and 0. Oh. Pitch on the way. Swings right over the top of that one. 2 and 1. Boy, what a time to pull the string on him. On 2-0, there's no way anyone's thinking changeup. So if you can locate it, that's pretty much unhittable. The 2-1. Smoke toward the hole. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. The pitcher got the result he was looking for. Change up down in the zone, gets him to hit it on the ground, but obviously the result wasn't what he wanted. So now to the plate, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. as he'll come up empty there as he misses the off speed pitch for strike one. The 0 1 pitch. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. The one two. And this one's in the dirt. The two two. Bell on it first, nobody out. Hit back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. Man, this guy's really starting to swing the stick again, D roll. That extends his hitting streak to nine games. Yeah, he's leaking into three series right here now. Nine games, that's getting firm. He's seeing the ball well, and he's making the proper adjustments at the plate. Now the first pitch. He's a veteran out on that mound. He understands he has to establish that inside fastball to open up the outer half of the plate. The 1 0 -oh. is swung on and missed in that strike one. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Fouled off. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. Fielded cleanly to second for one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Now in the box, Victor Robles. And he's a guy really in need of something to click at the plate right now. It's been a rough go for him. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. In there, no balls and a strike. Hey, this is a spot as a pitcher right now. You want to get a little bit greedy. Ideal would be to roll up a two ball. At worst, try to get yourself a strikeout. Behind 0 2 now. 
Nothing in two count and the pitch. And it's fouled away. Runners are at first and third, one away. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. Two two pitch is fouled away. Oh, and a great knuckle curve just buckled him there, and there are two gone. Runner on first in a double play situation, so you expect to see a lot of pitches down in the zone. So I think that pitch up right there was a good one. Obviously, the double play is more efficient, but you're always going to take a K when you're on the mound. Into the box, Jackson Reitz. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. The 0 1 offering. A bouncer up the middle. And this is a base hit, and that'll get him on the board as this ball game is tied at 1. Boy, talking about picking your teammate up after that strikeout, D Rowe. Big, big, and I mean big, two hard RBI single. Yeah, way to come through for your team. When you take the donut off your bat right there, you're trying to pick up your teammate. He had the right game plan, didn't come outside it, stayed through the baseball, and was able to come through. In now, Joe Ross. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Well, his guys just gifted him with a two out RBI, and now he's got a chance to help himself, too. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Story gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. Only one in the inning for the Nationals. And now in the box, Willie Castro flew out in his only at bat so far. The second baseman. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The wind up and the 0 1. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. A ball and two strikes now. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first out. Next to stand in is Joaquin Dias. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. First delivery to him. One out, nobody on. I uh, needed to lay off that pitch upstairs, but it's one and one. Great job by the pitcher right there, changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, but if he could throw some four seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him. And he fouls this one off. Here he comes again, one, two. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. That has to make you feel really good as a pitcher, right? You're making pitches all around the zone, and then you bring that one inside. You can't do anything with it. What does it do? It just locks you up inside. You have no chance to put the ball in play. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate, trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Well below the knees laid off on the change up there. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled away. A 
Shaw tried to bury one down and away but it's a full count now three and two. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. Runner at first with two gone in the inning, and that'll bring up Reese Hoskins. From the belt, the pitch. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. Ah, oh, man, just a hair early on that one and just pulled it foul. It's going to have to find a way to refocus. Not easy to continue an A-B after you just went deep foul. Hoskins behind to count 0-2. Off the plate at 94, 1 and 2. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. To third. He's got it. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. So the Nats lineup turns over and to the plate Julian Chavez he bounced out last time up first offering on its way the 1 0 line drive to left story is right there as he puts it away no problem for the first down. good contact to start out the inning thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit but it hung up there too long just unlucky that time digging in next Luis Garcia he popped out in his first trip popped him up Bohm has a play makes the play and there are two gone now Now at the plate, Juan Soto. He went down looking in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and they froze him on a good changeup. Tough one. If you got good arm action and this pitcher swung on by Soto and he connects to deep right and gone up into the second deck. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 23 for him thus far. And the Nationals take a 2-1 to one lead. I know height sight's 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Josh Bell the next to hit. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw to first beats him easily and the side is retired. Nationals able to add on thanks to the long ball. We're through three in our nation's capital. It's two to one Washington. Set for the start of the inning, and up next, the exciting Eloy Jimenez. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. As he'll go after a curveball off the plate. It's strike one. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right hander begins to get loose. The wind up and the 0 1. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. 
That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. Curveball just about rung him up, but it's to two and two. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center, giving Chase his Robles, but he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Man, that's got the sting for the pitcher and his teammates. They just get on the board and are feeling good about themselves, looking for a shutdown inning so they can get some more runs on the board, but instead, this guy blasts a leadoff double. Getting that shutdown inning is going to be a lot tougher now. At the plate, Alec Bohm, as he'll take a look at a sinker here, too low for ball one. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. The 1 0 home is looked at for ball number two. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Here comes the 2 0 pitch. Two balls and a strike. Jimenez leads off second with nobody out. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. And Ross throws a breaking ball to freeze him up and catch him looking. Time now for the Nationals' road to the showroom.